Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is destroy actor? Let's run our quick little example here. We'll hit do something, and you'll notice this little sphere that was here. Maybe you didn't. Let's run it again. We have a actor one. Do something, and it gets destroyed. Let's go ahead and look at the node and look at a few of the things associated with the node. So the destroy actor node is pretty simple. It's it's destroy actor. We type in destroy actor and we're going to get it back, well, nowhere. It is context sensitive because destroy actor requires an actor as our target. In this case, we're simply getting our actor one blueprint. And we're calling destroy actor on it. Here's something to keep in mind. Let's look at the top right here when we run this. And let's look at our blueprint tick actor one. Watch what happens when I hit do something. If you noticed, it said deleted actor for about half a second and then it was destroyed. That is something to keep in mind. With the way destroy actor works, basically when you call it, it's not immediately destroyed. It doesn't get removed from the scene. It doesn't get removed from the player. Well, technically it removes from the actor list that is kept internally, but it's not removed immediately. So if you were to destroy something and then immediately try to do something on it, it may still work. That's something to keep in mind. You may need a little bit of time, half a frame, not a frame, half a second or so, depending on how your game's running, in order for the garbage collector to catch up and actually destroy it. All Destroy Actor does really is tell it it's pending a kill, and then it removes itself from some internal lists, and then it will get destroyed when the garbage collector decides to take care of it. So if we look at that again, pay attention to where it says BP Tick Actor 1 here. When I hit do something, it's going to change into deleted actor, and then it will get disappeared. So that is something to keep in mind. Destroying an actor does not immediately remove it, Technically, you could still try to do something on this right after I destroy it. Usually, you'll get an error such as actor is pending kill, and it's going to give you it's going to give you an error, and it's going to cause a problem. So you can always make sure that it's a valid. Like for example, if we did it valid right here, and if you look at the description of this, it says non null and not pending kill. Because when you destroy something, it's still pending the kill for a temporary amount of time. So that's it. Our destroy actor node simply destroys things. It will eventually get removed from our list and it will eventually disappear, get garbage collected, and it's gone. But the caveat is, it is not removed immediately. You need to make sure you pay attention to that. Don't try to run something on something you destroy. Don't try to refill that spot if you destroyed it give it a time it may not happen that same frame it may happen a few frames later that's going to wrap up the destroy actor node it's used to destroy actors this is how you get rid of things when you're done with them